When you think of a dragon scale, you probably think it's something very rare, very unique, very hard to come by, and you should value them immensely. I was sitting here browsing social media next to this guy right here. And every time he scratches, he gives you a dragon scale. I have 23 of them, which can help me get iron. So that's cool. I don't know if I'm going to get that. So, yeah. Iron, armor, with the dragon scale, yeah. Also, with this uh, Eret token, I can take this and I think I put it in one... Yep, put it right in there. So there's a bunch of tokens to get. What do you get by the end of it? No clue. I only got the Eret one last time, so that's what I'm going to work with now. Buddy, we're going off on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Uh, over here, my name is Brian Saviano, Connects Kenny, the number one content creator in the galaxy, playing more How to Train Your Dragon in Minecraft, the blocky and uh, uninformed version, because I don't know any other context about this, other than that it's incredibly cool and I'm thoroughly enjoying my time in it, hopefully you are too. If you want to play this for yourself, you certainly can. I can't say that I'm gonna 100% complete everything, but I'm gonna do my very best to play the game as thoroughly as I can, because I am enjoying this, genuinely so. I know a lot of the time you may be like, Brian, you say you like everything, and I don't. I definitely don't, but this is not something I've gotten sick of, you know? It's actually incredibly well done. And that certainly helps with doing gameplay videos and things like that. Why is he shimmying to the side? He's like all sorts of shimmied in a weird way. All right, let's fly up. Let's fly up. There we go. All right. Stop aiming to the side. I need to not hold the map also. That's probably not helping me. Wait. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So him... Wait, 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 wait. So let me, let me not be so aggressive. Let's dial this back. Let me get back up here. All right. I'm going to recoup. I'm going to fly back down. Being in for... Why does he go to the side? That's just weird. Um, I guess it's fine, but, you know, I'm supposed to be able to take these enemies out right there we go okay so there's a good section of them done nope i want it to go up i want it to go up why am i walking on water i'm not eminem i'm not you know whatever come on right here there we go there we go all right i'm trying to like not go after them from like super up close okay so they're done oh right here yep Get rid of you. Oh, yeah, there's the hotness right there. Yep. Come on. No. You will not sabotage me. There we go. Nice. The trapper ship has been eviscerated. And in here is a dragon that I had not seen in this playthrough here. This guy, this is a cool looking dragon here. And he is very much so all about that fish. There we go. What about in here? Anything nice? Some knuckle iron. So storm cutter here was my dragon of choice when I was recording this the first time. So he's a very, very uh, fast dragon. Very cool looking in general. I'm very excited that I found this guy again. Come on. And he's got a lot of health and just an overall cool, cool dragon to work with. Yeah, there we go. So let me show you a little bit of what uh, Stormcutter here is capable of. Yeah, he's got like four different wings. Look how fast he goes. It's so fast, it's incredible. So yeah, I'm gonna fly back over to here, register him into the not quite Pokedex, but into the Dragon Dex, and I'm I'm more than halfway through getting all the different types of dragons. It's been incredibly quick, this entire process here. So I guess I'm just that good at uh, training dragons. That's good, but there's still a lot of quests to do. Oh, look how fast he's going. He's going so fast. It's great. Uh, where is the dragon? Hide out over... Wait, nope. Go up. There we go. Deadly Natter was returned, of course. But yeah, I want to definitely aim to get all the dragons, for sure. But all of the quests, we'll see. Because I, I do like not showing every single little thing about these maps and whatnot when I play them, so you can enjoy them for yourself. You can just see how, like, fast I'm flying here. Like, yeah, there we go. Extremely rare. Great find. Let me sketch it. Well, you can sketch it another time, because I got to fly, baby. I gotta get on out of here. Make sure I register that trapper ship, which I believe there's a finite amount of them.
because once they pop in, I think they go away once they are not registered anymore. So let's see here. Like, there's another one right there. Look at the trapper ship. Oh, it's literally the same one. What? Is that a, the same one or a different one? I don't know. Okay, whatever. So I'm just going to disregard that for now. I'm going to go to one more area that I know that I've been to before in my, my lost recordings of this. And then everywhere else is going to be brand spanking new, which has me very excited. But over toward here, there's this really interesting fortress with all sorts of spiky things i don't know but clear this out and we'll see how well this goes um but there's still a bunch of areas i haven't seen even a little bit so it's gonna be nice to do that especially okay 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 and this guy does a lot of damage too you can tell he's doing a lot of damage i like it yep and it kind of it kind of has splash damage on these two so even if you don't aim necessarily 100% the, the most optimal way every single time, you're uh, you're doing all right, you know? You're doing okay. Take off. Take off. Come on. Go back up. And you can feed them with the fish. And the reason why I like feeding them with the fish is because you can basically get infinite resources on the fish by going into that middle section there. You can just take fish over and over and over again. So you never have to really worry about, like, feeding this guy or keeping him well, like, you know, healed up or anything, because you can just keep feeding them with the fish. That's why it's great. Like the meat, you, you saw how much trouble I was having with finding cows everywhere. It wasn't necessarily the most simplistic thing I've ever done. So the fish is, is super important. And he's really, he's just a good, he's just a good lad, a good boy. So, and I got 40 fish here. He's going to be all nice and healed. Never take any damage. These sword, swordsmen don't stand a chance. And I, I can't manually go and destroy them either. I have to use the dragon. I can go maybe punch him, but I would probably lose more health than it's worth to try and make this happen, you know? Oh, he's got like a long range of attack here. Yep, come on. Stay healed, buddy. Stay healed. There you go. You got this. All right. And they just do like a full-on assault, man. They show no hesitation, no mercy against my sweet, beautiful storm cutter here. Okay. And I think eventually if you get enough enemies destroyed, they kind of just disappear, I hope, at least. But you see them, they're like, they're getting launched, by the way. Like, incredibly launched. There we go. I see you over here. No, stop it. Look at them. Yoink, he's gone. What else? There's some more over here. They're hanging out. There's some down here. You basically have to clear out the entire area. There, there can be no, no enemies left to be uh, telling the story of storm cutters. Basically how it goes. But yeah, this is the issue with Minecraft, though. Is like you have the perspective on the dragon, which is cool, but yeah, it's kind of wonky the way it all works out. So grab Burke's treasure and head back to the Great Hall. I don't know where that treasure actually is. Is it this? Oh, there's all sorts of stuff. Oh, there's a lot of iron in here. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, I must have done that. I must have went here, got all the meat that was inside of here. Oh, uh, okay. So in case you need to find meat, if you just loot that area, you have all these dragon scales, all this iron, you can get some pretty, pretty solid uh, uh, gear, especially, you know, all things considered here. So instead of riding Stormcutter back, I'm pretty sure I can just teleport myself back and Stormcutter will meet me back to where I need him to be. Now, I, I think that was the treasure. I don't think there was a singular item. I don't remember that from last time. And usually inside of here, there's like a, a chest where they're like, oh yeah, here's a specific item that you can use as your thing. But I don't necessarily see that there. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'm just gonna teleport back and do the uh, the thing. So I think that mystical magical dragon that they have at the very end of that book is the dragon that comes here, grabs you and drops you off at the stable area like this because you just kind of pop right back in you're like whoa and there you go so that's cool um yeah and i'm not going to release any dragons because why would i do that so let me head back up to the quest area and i'll show you where you can use your iron and dragon scales to get some cool stuff all right so now is our time to get complacent want to find another fleet there's another fleet over here so you got back burke's treasure i think i did Incredible work, Hiccup. You hearing this? All right, cool. So he registered that. Nice. 
So he's going to give me whatever he's going to give me. And I can have that as a thing to put probably in one of these things over here. Yes, take the stoic token. The stoic token goes... Right? Nope. Maybe over here. It's in one of these. Valka? No. Gobber? Stoic. Yeah, and I can just toss that yoink right in there. So there's two of... Two, four, six, eight, eight. Not bad. All right. You earn the Stoic's Respect. Place the token on the display. So now that I have the Dragon Scales and I have the Iron, I can go over toward here. Yoink. Hi, buddy. So we got the Dragon Scales. Put them in the Forge. This is the Forge? Yeah, it is. All right. So I have this. I have this. Or that, rather. And I can choose it for... Trade for a Gronkle Helmet. I can also do all this. Monstrous Nightmare Boots. I'm assuming I can just do level three because I got all the stuff ready to go for it, right? There's that, there's that, there's that. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. I'm looking pretty good. Oh. Take this Gobber token. Oh, so the tokens aren't just for the quests. Ah, okay. And you don't lose durability on the Elytra. That's sweet. All right. So I got Master of the Forge, and I literally just stood there AFK while I was doing other stuff, and I was looking at social media, and they just scratched off a bunch of dragon scales, and I looted that one area, and boom, I got everything I needed to get the max armor. So in case you're uh, struggling to figure out what you got to do, I guess that's all you got to do. So Gobbers is over somewhere here, probably. Nope, right, not there. It's this one, right? Yeah, it is. Boom, there we go. So yeah, doing all the different things will net you all the rewards that you need. So now that I have that completed, you can take a look at the map and see kind of where you're at for the different regions. So there's still all this all around here. So just to complete the loop, I'm going to go to the top right-hand corner and see what's there. I don't intend on completing the map fully, like, like 110,000%. I'm just going to kind of go to each section and see what's there. And if there's anything notable that's different, like, I'll make it happen, but otherwise, I'm assuming there's just going to be a base that I got to loot and free a dragon and do all that. This looks very, very cool, quite literally, with all the ice. That looks very interesting, but ooh, it's a whole spiky thing. Ooh, is this like a castle? It kind of looks like a purposefully generated structure. A little bit. Valka's Mountain. Okay. I wonder if there's going to be a specific, you know, a thing to tame the dragons with. I don't know. It kind of looks like an arena in a way. Can I pop into here? Oh, there's definitely something inside of there. 100% there's something inside of there. All right, so let me land here real quick. Yep. Okay. So we have a, a lush inside. Interesting. Okay. So if I fly down here, yoink. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I have tamed you before, that's for sure. Get over here. You. There we go. Don't, don't fly off like that. No, 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 no. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You're going to try to yoink me off like that? Really? Trying to fly me off into oblivion? Sure, buddy. All right. So this is like a lush inside area. I mean, that's cool, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go for you instead. Because I'm not liking the way that other dragon was going about trying to yoink me off of wherever. Oh, wait. That's the same one. Same one. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, there's another storm cutter over here. So this one is indeed different from the dragon that I had before. The pebbles, I believe this is a different dragon. It kind of looks like it. There's more storm cutter over here. Um, yep, that's the same. So, cool. You know what? I don't think this is a different one. There is a different one. I know for a fact there is. But that is definitely pebbles. So that didn't really net me anything new. Not that I can tell. I mean, it's a very cool looking area. But I figured there would be more like treasure to find or something around these parts. Or like maybe there's like a little loot bins around there that would be cool to find. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. So I'm just going to fly over from here for now. I'm going to discover whatever area this is over here just to complete the upper portion. And this looks like a green greens area with a... Oh, it's like an island. It's got a little bit of everything. All right, cool. The name of the area is the Dragon's Edge. Okay. And that I still need to clear out over there. So that's cool. 
Uh, I should probably take a look at... Oh, there's like a little hut over here. Okay. Let's see. Is there anybody home? Hello? Oh, yes. There's you. You look like a terrifying beast I want to tame. Would you like some meat? Would you like some meat? Dragon. Double-headed dragon. Would you like some f uh, uh, fish? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, buddy. Right here. There we go. There's another dragon, the double-headed. The double-double. There we go. One more time, buddy. Oh, he sounds very venomous. Jeez. Oh, look at the way it looks when you're on this model here. Wow. That is, wow, very terrifying. Okay, well, there's another dragon tamed. Awesome. But before I head out of here, I want to see what... Are you Are you good? You need any help? You all? You okay? Oh, hi. I don't get many vis visitors here at Dragon's Edge. You're friends with Hiccup, right? Well, you better be taking good care of your dragons. Uh, there's some growing around here. Dragon nip. It's a long grass with white flowers. I think somebody asked me for dragon's nip. So I need to find... Is it this? Long grass with the... Oh, it is. Okay, cool. So I got to find a bunch of this stuff and I guess bring it to somebody. And, you know, it, not every single little thing is interactive like this. So it's a very different way of uh, having interactive things. You're just kind of roaming around hoping that you find something that is interactive. So there's that, I guess. So let me clear out this. I guess I didn't clear out the ship. Did I not? Return to Valka to complete the mission. Ah, yes. Okay. So that ended up... No, wait. No, I don't want that dragon. No, dang it. Oh, wait. If I leave this dragon behind, will it go back to the stable? It should go back to the stable. I didn't register it right away, but it should go back to the stable. So that would be cool. Uh, is this a different ship? No, this is a random ship. Oh, that's weird. So there's no dragon. Oh, it's an abandoned ship. Oh, that's weird. Oh, and there's this over here. Okay. But do I need... Am I just going to get another one of those gauntlet things for clearing out all those areas? I'm, I don't necessarily care about that, you know? What's this? Vanaheim. Okay. Hideous Zippleback has been returned to the stable. Okay. So, returning... Just taming them and leaving them there, that's okay. Because they'll end up going back to the stable anyway. So, hi. Do you like meat? Yeah, you do. Come on, buddy. There we go. So I can just kind of bail out of these dragons kind of wherever... And they'll be fine. Where did you go? Where'd you go? Right down here? Okay. Uh, yoink. And you can kind of ride the dragons like midway in flight too. It works out pretty well that way. So this is some other dragon. I mean, I saw it before in the hall, but yeah. Oh, you fly fast too. Cool. I am getting all these dragons in like record time, man. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Is there anything else around here in this area? I... That, that's the only issue. Like, as cool as it is to find all the dragons and whatnot, it would probably also be cool to find other things to do. I mean, you're doing little things here and there, but not like, not like a remarkable lot. You know what I mean? There's all the dragons in here. Jeez, okay. So, yeah, like, like, see this in here? Like, there's no treasure. There's no, like, quest. I don't know. There should be something to do because there's a lot of detail going on around here, right? There's a lot going on, but there isn't necessarily an objective. You're just kind of doing it for the sake of doing it, which, you know, is fine, but yeah. All right, I'm going to call this, head back to the stable. I'm going to register all these dragons, and then I should be at seven, right? No, I'm, miss I'm missing one. I know which one I'm missing, too. It's in, like, a flatland area. It's a very rocky, rocky one. For some reason, I, I don't know, took some damage there, so that's cool. All right, so you I registered. Which one did I not? See, there's like, you know, three of them over there, basically. Um, these, this one I did not. So I can bring this over here, right? There we go. Hey, buddy, I have a dragon for you. Two heads are better than one. That's what they, they, two, they have two deadly heads, yes. So there's that one there. And they will eventually go back into the stable, kind of sort of no matter what you do. So that's good. There's two dragons over here. So here we go. Uh, nope. There's that. And there's just these two over toward this way. So that would lead me up to five. But I didn't register that blue one. 
So I'm going to register the blue one. There's Rumblehorn. 1,100 pounds of pure angst. That's what they said about me in middle school as well. But, uh, you know, we all go through our phases and all that. And I ended up being just fine. So six out of seven are tamed. I do know where the last one is. So, or at least I should have an idea of where the last one is. But before I do that, I'm not going to suffocate. I'm not going to suffocate. There we go. I want to redeem the, the token because I have this stuff. The dragon nip, which I didn't know was a highly desirable thing. But I reckon it is. And I think that quest was over here. It was this guy. He's like, yeah, you got this. Hey. Got the nips. Yeah, there we go. Hey. Give it a try. Yeah, all right. Oh, and you. What are you? Oh, there's all sorts of Jorgensen flags all around the archipelago. Shoot the targets at each flag. Then I'll be impressed. So there's all these different... Oh, wait, what? What's this? Val oh, the Valka token. Oh. It was like, hey, you want to try this token? I'm like, no. I don't want any tokes. That is irresponsible. I'm all set. But I'm going to take that token put it in there. Use Dragon Nip to breed dragons. Oh, take the token to the Great Hall and place it on the display. Oh, so if I want to get multiple dragons, I can do that. Cool, cool. There's another one. There are one, two, three, four out of eight. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. All right. So one more dragon is to be tamed. I know where to go. And I believe it's over toward this way. So I'll show you where exactly that is and what to do. Um, I believe there's also a multiplayer aspect down there. There's like a dragon race situation. Unfortunately, I only have myself uh, to play with on this map. So I don't have four people to play with me. But if you want to pop this on a Minecraft realm, you can certainly do that with some friends and be uh, a lot better off with that. Hideous Zippleback got back to the stable. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, this is a basically like a canyon area. And everybody's going to get returned to the stable, which is fine. I'm actually going to bail out of you and explore this. And that kind of looks like the last section here, the rookery. No, but there's definitely a section in the middle portion over there. But as far as I know, there is going to be another dragon here that I can go after. Yes, this guy right here. See this rocky fellow? Yeah, he likes rocks. You want some more rocks? Yeah, there we go. Stay with me. Stay with me, buddy. Stay with me. There we go. One more time. Yoink. There we go. There we go. Stay with me. Stay with me. Beautiful. He's got so much attack and so much health. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Not too much for, what's it there, uh, health, or rather, for speed. He's very slow, but he's a thick boy. So he's got a lot a lot of pounds packing on, so you got to be careful. <laughs> got to be careful not to insult him too much. But yes, he goes super slow, so I'm going to fly away. Summon the darkness of the dragon in the flight. Of the night fury, the night fury. Or maybe actually it is toothless because that's dragon number seven. Right? That should be dragon number seven. And then maybe there's like a secret dragon at the end? I don't know. Hey, you. Wake on up. Sir, I have your last dragon. Look at this. The hot bubble, these guys love to sleep. Yes, they do. They certainly do. Hey, man. Thanks for helping me with the research. You've been a real help around here. You bet your bottom dollar I have. So much potential research, but so many finite and delicious possibilities. Are you going to eat all these dragons? That's really morbid. Take this fish token. You got it, dude. Thanks, bro. So I can place that up toward the top, and that's a main objective completed. So that's going to take me to, what, five? Oh, and these are the things I got to shoot. These things here, right? Shoot that. Shoot it. Shoot it. No? I guess that's not the thing? Oh, okay. Take the token to the Great Hall. All right, yeah, I certainly will do that. But the dragon I'm going to use from now on is definitely going to be Stormcutter. You are my favorite. If I were in the realm of how to train your dragon, I would absolutely use a Stormcutter. I would call them a, a, a Stenopolis. It's a very Greek name, but I would, I would call my dragon Stormcutter Stenopolis. Actually, I can do that. Because I have the name tags. I didn't quite realize that, but I absolutely do. Right here? Nope. Not that one. Not that one. This one? Maybe this one. There we go. So that's uh, five of them complete. 
this rate, I might as well try and do it there. And there's all these different fleets remaining. So, what's a section I haven't gone to? Down here, there's a little mini section down here. So I'll give that a look-see. And let you- I'll, you know what? I'll let you know- Actually, no, I won't let you know if I find anything. Uh, let me see over here. This is clearly like a multiplayer thing, or it kind of looks like it should be, right? Let me see what this guy- or if anybody says anything down here, right? Oh, you two have quests for me as well. Okay. You want to try the flight course? Fly through the hoops all around Burke as quickly as you can. Okay. Uh, only the flight course. You can go through these pro hoops. Where are they? I would love to find out, you know? And you... If you can see a sheep, fly over it and pick it up and use the interact button to drop it. Capture sheep and drop them in the nets. I'll need four sheep. Oh. Do I need to use the different dragons to do it? Because that's going to be a pain. Uh, that's going to be a pain. Uh. Beating our score on the flight course. Where's the, where's the, the loops? I'll do the, I'll do the thing. Oh, over here. Okay, cool. All right, I'll do it. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta do the thing. Okay. Oh, this is like an intense thing. Okay. Nope. Fly up, fly up, fly up, up, up. Go, go. This is the only thing that's weird. It's like this whole flying mechanism can be kind of weird sometimes. Okay. I don't know what the current time is supposed to be, but I'm gonna roll with it anyways. Nope. I missed the the gambit there. Come on. Fly into here. Is it into here? Yes, it is into here. Come on. Go. Take off. Fly. Fly, Storm Cutter. Why is it having me loop through a building, dude? Of all things and places to have me go? Come on, go. Yep. Okay. You fly. Have so big a wings, dude. Come on. Where? What? Oh, over here. Oh, wow. Okay. This flight course... It's very intense. Where do I go? What? Okay. I don't know what the course should be, but... What? Where do I go? I can't see anything. Like, what? Yeah, I go this way. I can't- I literally can't see where to go. It's telling me this way? Oh. How am I supposed to see this? Go, do this. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to like loop around. Okay. Yep. This way. This way. Nope, this way. Come on. Is he too fast? He might be too fast, actually. There is such a thing as going too fast sometimes. That is a very fine, delicate art. Did I do it? Where do I- what? Where do I- down here? This course is so... You can't aim with this, dude. Come on. You, no pro Minecraft player or otherwise. Not even Dreams. Is that his name? Dreams? Dream? Could do it? No. There's not a chance. Back up here. Did I make it? Come on. Did I do it? Did I seriously do it? That was an awful time, by the way. That was a horrendous time. Uh... You gotta... All around Burke as... Wait. As quick as you can. If you can beat our score, you get a special prize. I gotta do it in 100 seconds? I'll do that another time. I'm not doing that right now. No way. No way. I, I can't... I can't possibly do it right now. I'm gonna explore a little bit more. I gotta get these sheep. And then there must be one area toward the very bottom of the map down that way for me to explore in the How to Train Your Dragon map. And then I think that might be it. But until then, I'll see you again next time. Enjoy your day. I'm going to maybe eat some pizza. Not quite yet, but I will soon. All right? Meow it out. Thank you for watching. Bye.